The best businesses never just sell products, they sell a brand. So what's gonna be the name of your brand? On Amazon, I'd recommend choosing a brand name that's both simple and generic. That way you're not locking yourself into a specific range of products. Now the only exception to this is if you're just dead set on building a business around one particular market, which in that case you can just go with something more specific like Jake's dog products. But if you're going into this trying to find the best products to sell regardless of the category, then I'd highly recommend choosing a broader brand name. That way you can sell a variety of products underneath it, just like we've done with our brand, Jungle Creations. When it comes to setting up your business, you'll most likely begin by creating a separate legal entity. The most common one is called an LLC. Now this isn't a requirement, but there are three main advantages to having one. First, it's not particularly expensive and it doesn't affect your taxes too much, which is great. Second, an LLC creates separation between yourself and your business. This will help shield you from any potential liabilities and if you were to ever get sued, it will also protect your personal assets. And the third benefit is that you'll be able to set up a separate business bank account and credit card, which means you'll be eligible for some pretty cool cashback rewards that only business cards can offer. So if you're on the fence whether or not to sign up for an LLC, you should keep in mind that some freight forwarders will actually require you to have one in order to work with them. And as far as the name for your LLC goes, this doesn't really matter much because it won't ever be displayed on Amazon to your customers. Your brand name will always be separate from your business name. And as far as how to set up your LLC, this is really up to you, but personally, I found it super easy using LegalZoom because they do most of the work for you and then lay out all the steps that you need to take. The next important part of setting up your business is to register for your Amazon Seller Central account. This is the headquarters for running your entire business on Amazon. So follow along as I take you through a step-by-step -step walkthrough of setting up your account. And I will be showing you this process for sellers in the United States marketplace, although just keep in mind, this process is very similar for all the other their countries. So first, to sign up for your account, go to services.amazon.com. Here, you'll get to choose what marketplace you want to sell in. And it's good to know that you don't actually need to have a physical address or even live in the country you want to sell in. So if you live in the UK, you can sell in the US. And if you live in Pakistan, you can sell in the UK. You just need to read up on that country's tax laws that you plan on selling in, and then just make sure to follow all their rules. Next, you have two options. An individual account is free, although Amazon will charge you 99 cents per sale. Also, keep in mind that you won't be eligible to sell in all of the available categories, and you won't have access to certain features like advertising. So if you're serious about starting this business, I strongly recommend going with the professional account. Now, this one does cost $40 a month, but you are free to sell in any category and access all the features to help you sell more. But if you're on a tight budget, I totally understand. I would just recommend starting with an individual account first, and then you can always transition to a professional account at any time. So feel free to do that and then just switch over once you're in the process of having your product manufactured. Next, either sign in with your existing Amazon account or create a brand new one. I'd highly recommend setting up a new account for this just to help keep your personal shopping separate from your business, but really most importantly, separating your accounts will make it much easier to file your taxes. Trust me on that. After that, Amazon will email you a verification code to confirm your new account. Then in the account setup, you'll first start by entering your country or business location. Next up is your business type. You can sign up as an individual or as a business if you already have one set up. So if you do have a US LLC single member, then you can just select individual instead of business as it's actually treated very similarly. Or if you're selling as an individual, you'll simply just type in your name then select Agree and Continue. Now for individuals, you'll need to enter information about your country of citizenship, country of birth, and date of birth. Or if you're a business, then you'll need to enter your company registration number, which is usually your EIN. Following that, enter your business address regardless of whether you're an individual or a business. And just a quick note on this, customers can see this. So if you're not comfortable with putting your real address out there, you can always get a PO address and just use that one instead. But just keep in mind, you do need to be able to receive mail at this address because Amazon will most likely send you a postcard for verification. At this point, you need to enter your phone number so Amazon can send you a verification code. Once you've verified that, click next. Now you need to enter your credit card to charge your subscription to. So if you have an LLC, I strongly recommend signing up for a business credit card. That way you can benefit from the cash back rewards. And if you're selling from outside of the US, you can always get a card by using a service such as Payoneer or even Wise. The next step is to create a store name. This can be whatever you want. It is going to be separate from your brand name and it's not really that important. Plus you can always just change it in the future. 
Next, do you have UPCs for all your products? I would say yes here because you will need these for any products that you list. And, and don't worry, we are gonna talk more about UPCs in this next section, but for now you can just click yes. Now, are you the manufacturer or brand owner? In this case, also select yes, because if you're doing private label, that means you are the brand owner as well as the manufacturer. If you already have a trademark for your brand, then you could say yes here as well, as this is the beginning of the brand registry process. But if you're just starting out, you likely won't have this yet, and you can just click no, um, but you can always come back and apply for brand registry at a later point. On this final screen, double check that your information is correct, and then upload any necessary documents that Amazon is asking for. This might change depending on what country or information you entered in earlier, but usually it's just a bank statement or even a copy of your ID. Then click submit and your account will be reviewed by Amazon and hopefully set up soon. And that's really it. You now have access to Seller Central. But just a quick note here, uh, we've heard a lot that Amazon is a little bit fussy when it comes to verifying accounts. So if you don't get verified right away the first time, no worries, uh, they'll typically just email you what went wrong so that you know how to fix it. But once you're all signed up, in your account, you can find your FN SKU barcode. Now this is super important to know before you get your product made, uh, since all Amazon products require this barcode on the packaging. This next video will show you how to locate this inside your account, along with other packaging requirements you need to know about. So make sure to check out this video to keep learning how to sell on Amazon. This will help shield you from any... Okay. As I walk you through a step-by-step, -step, as I take you through, shoot, I'm like mixing words, video account.